They can't believe I'm making this one, but anyway, the hidden benefits of APRA conditions. So, uh, coming up on three years ago, I had a fight with another doctor in my practice, and I was like, okay, hey, I think there's a problem with how you're behaving, and they said, hey, Tom, I think there's a problem with how you're behaving, I'm reporting you to APRA. Now, if you haven't been through the APRA experience, it is uh, not one of great efficiency, that is for sure. When I, uh, when I first got the notification, they said two weeks, and uh, I was like, it's going to take a little longer. I spoke to lawyers, they're like, look, ask for extension, six weeks. So at the end of six weeks, I hand in a 22-page explanation of what's going on. Uh, I got reported for, I think it was six patients. So it was, it's like, whoa, it was designed to be overwhelming, designed to be not possible to, uh, to pass this. But anyway, I was working 12 to 14 hours a day to get through this report. Very stressful. And uh, anyway, so I put it in and nothing happened. Nothing happened. I was like, well, that's kind of weird. And the months go by, months go by, months go by, months go by, seven months later, like literally seven months later, I get a notification saying, we are unable to work out whether we can make a decision on this, we're going to pass it to the medical board. And I'm like, it took you seven months to work that out, that you couldn't make a decision? I'm like, wow. What are we dealing with here? Oh my goodness, this is insanity. So stressful. Like, until you've been through it, and you're like, oh wow, I didn't realize that the system was like this. But the system is like this. It's very, it's very peculiar to go through. I thought they'd lost the complaint. I was like, all right, maybe it's been dismissed. Maybe they lost it. Maybe, like, what, what is with this? <laughs> anyway, the, uh, the council is not much better. I think it took, uh, at some point, some point I got a notification we're going to have a meeting in March 2022. So from October 20 through to like, what, May, May 21, APRA says medical council. Medical council finally goes, okay, we're going to have a meeting with you in March 22. March 22. So I'm already 18 months in to get a first meeting. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, so we go through it. I believe they led with, we haven't read all of your report. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Anyway, so we're chatting about it all. What went on? How's it all going? We've just been flooded up here in Mullumbimby. Uh, it's all very stressful. I had had COVID and at that time didn't realize about the brain fog. And it was literally uh, extremely difficult to learn anything. It was around hypertension, around opiate prescriptions. And to go through the guidelines, it was just falling out of my head. I was like, ah, what is this? This is ridiculous. Couldn't remember a damn thing. It was fascinating, that COVID brain. Luckily, it passed. Passed after three to four weeks. But during the, uh, the actual meeting, I was like, oh, man, I, I am incompetent here. This sucks, this brain fog. Very interesting experience. And it's something to be aware of in terms of your capacity in case you do get one of these COVID-like diseases or COVID diseases and your brain functions down a little bit, just be aware of that. So, oh, okay, cool. Maybe need to double check things. Anyway, at the end of that, they're like, you know what? Your notes suck. I'm like, well, you know, that kind of sucks because I've been putting a lot of attention into it, but I didn't realize that Lyrica was a one of their drugs of interest. And I had this patient show up and he was like on... He hadn't, I hadn't seen him for ages and he showed up and he's like, hey, I need some more scripts of Lyrica and we discussed it, but my notes on that particular case were no good. They definitely weren't good. It was like, ah, like, okay, I'm going to have a notes review for you in July 23. So March 2022, we'll see you again in 16 months or 15 months later. I'm like, oh my God, what is this? This is ridiculous. Now notice how ridiculous this is to put such a long time because there's no opportunities for feedback in between. This is highly stressful in terms of, oh, am I doing the right thing? Are my notes up to scratch? I'm not getting any feedback. They definitely should change this and say, all right, we're gonna review every month and then we'll have a meeting at three months or at six months and then we'll make a decision. Like this would be far more helpful instead of these long time frames. My practice manager's like, look, they weren't worried about you. That's why they gave you such a long time. I'm like, really? That still sucks. 
still sucks. Like, if you're not worried about me, then why even do it? So July rolls around, still haven't heard. I have to write to them and say, hey, are we going to have this meeting? I'd like these conditions removed. Anyway, they're like, oh, yeah, 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 sorry. We, we totally, I don't know, we forgot. I'm like, oh, God, really? Come on, people. Seriously, like, that it takes a while to organize these meetings because you've got to call the notes up. You've got to do all this. It's like that should have been done three months before. Hey, you're due in July. Here's in April. Can we see your books? Can we have a list of patients so we can pull our list of patients from them? I'm like, okay, but it didn't happen until July, so now I finally got this meeting in October. Anyway, I get this phone call this morning. It's like, ah, oh, Dr. Ollie, hey, we've got this patient who's vaccine injured. I'm like, oh, you know, I don't want to deal with vaccine injury. You guys can have that. I don't want that. That is a mess. It's a mess. I'm like, guess what? Not willing to take that. I got conditions on my medical license. I'm like, oh, wow, check that out. The hilarious silver lining. And it, this has been extremely useful. It's like, oh, you want opiates? Nope. Conditions on my medical license. You want to do vaccine injury? Nope. You want to do medical license? I'm like, just not interested in any of these topics that are outside of mainstream medicine. And you can argue and say, well, who's going to do that work? Well, not me. Not me. It's just, and it, yes, it stifles uh, innovation, but... Hey, it's also something that is very useful. The better skill set is not to require the APRA notification at all. The better skill set is to know your boundaries. Know my bound. No, I'm not dealing with that. No, not dealing with that. That's not general practice. You need to go and see this person. Not interested in that. No, 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 no. I was very bad at this very bad at this. Not only was I poor at saying no, I also didn't track how difficult the level of patients that I was seeing. I didn't even know that not all doctors were dealing with a heavy workload of extremely difficult patients. Why? I never looked. No one ever told me. No one ever said, hey, you should look at how many difficult patients. And when you've got difficult patients and you've got too many of them, they have to go have to get rid of them. And then at some level, these lessons are extremely beneficial. And my hope is for you, if you are weak at saying no, then at least start tracking how many difficult patients you've got. Become aware of what those difficult patients look like and say no. Yes, the silver lining, the APRA thingy, yeah, whatever. It would be way better not to have those. But, it is there and it's extremely useful. But the skill set, hopefully after October, get these conditions smooth. It's like, no, 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 not general practice, not doing it, too much, not interested. Now, that's all I got for you today. Hope you found that useful. Do not recommend getting involved with APRA if you can possibly avoid it. It's not the best run. Could be improved. How? Systems. But most people don't know about systems, so we'll just leave that. All right, that's all I got for you. I'm going to go do some recording. Got some cool stuff for today. Catch you next time.